Today we're going to be doing multi-view sketches. The first thing that we need to do with our multi-view sketch is look at our instructions. So as you see right here, we have the multi-view sketches. We're going to be using figure three, this object right here. I'll provide you some linking cubes. You also can kind of see the object that we'll be working on right here as well. The first part that we need to do is an isometric. Then we can move on to the front, top, and right. So that's what we're gonna start with using this image right here. We're gonna move that off to the side so that we have it to reference. And we'll also use our blocks right here to look at it. You're gonna kind of put it on that 30 degree angle so that you can see the front and the side. So this is gonna be our front right here. This is gonna be our right side. All right, so you're gonna kind of take a look at that and you can place it on your desk or on your partner's desk to reference. The first place I'm going to do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put a dot. I'm using pen so that you can see it better, but you must use pencil. Now that dot is representing this corner right here or this corner right here on my object. I'm looking at it to the side. It's one, two wide. So I go ahead and I count it one, two, all right? How tall is it? Look here, from here to there is one, from here to there is one. So I go up one on each side and then I connect them. I've now done this front face right here. I wanna put my right side, so that part right here. Again, this is our corner where the dot is. That goes back one. So I come back over here, I go back one, and I connect them. Again, looking here, this goes back one and then it starts to go up. So I come back to my drawing, I go back one, and then it goes up, let's see, one, two. So I'm gonna come back over here, I'm gonna go up one, two. I'm filling these in. It's only one tall, so fill that in. And then now I need to look at this. Look in here, it's one, two, three. So I come over to this corner, because that's the same corner right there, and I go down one, two, three. We need to add this line right here back in. And that is my isometric. Again, this is the ISO metric.